Good afternoon, St. Londers. I have already recorded this video, and I made one mistake in it, and so I have to do the whole thing again, and I'm not in a very good mood for that reason. Nevertheless, um, let me tell you as briefly as possible the story. I dislike listening to my interviews or watching I've never watched, ever, at all, any recordings of speeches or presentations that I've given. But because I have to upload these videos into the YouTube thingamajiggy, I see the performances of the preceding videos. And the numbers, high, low, that's not a big thing for me because... Uh, the market, the number of people liable to watch Saitlander's stuff in English is fairly low. So, you know, we get much higher hits elsewhere. Hundreds of thousands. I happened to see something the other day by accident of a speech that Saitlander's gave, where on one channel, the number of views is a quarter of a million. And we've had millions as well. And every second Sunday, I give an interview that is uh, listened to. It's in radio format. Every second Sunday, at 4 o'clock. Uh, 4 o'clock depending upon daylight savings time in the Northern Hemisphere. Otherwise, 3 o'clock. Um, that is listened to just on the Internet by over 700,000 people. And it's also broadcast on FM across across Europe. So the numbers are not a thing for me. But the likes are also there. And also, it doesn't really bother me because the likes are very, very, very high. The percentages are phenomenally high. We do exceptionally well. I'm very blessed by you people who watch these videos. Very, 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 very blessed. However, what I've observed over the past couple of days is that the, the percentage of likes drops by about 2%, which is very low. Let's be clear, for the rest of this video, if I whine and complain and grumble and perform like a madman, what am I performing over? It's not huge numbers, it's tiny numbers, but still, they bother me no end. Because... Excuse me while I shift something here. Um, they are consistently, that little decline of about 2% from the average. Um, I won't tell you what the percentage of likes is, but it's blooming high. Um, <laughs> you really bless me. I don't know anybody. Yeah, that's it's terrific but the two percent from the average drop when i do videos that are let's say preachings of doom and gloom two percent of the people shy away they don't want to hear that this morning i was chatting to marguerite you know louis marguerite tall louis who speaks at beautiful afrikaans um and we we chatted for oh, I don't know we it was by WhatsApp message and I suppose we exchanged maybe fifty oh well, no not fifty let's say thirty something but many 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 and long ones too because we were explaining things to one another I was explaining what I had in mind and she was explaining as the expert on the practicalities of that thing that she knows very well. And the subject evolved. So by the end of the conversation, in the last couple of messages, we'd moved on from the original topic of conversation. And she mentioned incidentally, so she wasn't bragging. That's my point. This came out of something else. There was a logical progression to a reasonable point. She explained to me how she as a mother of six is not going to work like a slave in the tight what 
people are going to come to her on their knees with the tears streaming down their faces, begging for her to give them menial work to do. It's guaranteed. In return for what she has to offer. And she's figured out that out very well. And then you get those people who don't even want to hear the bad stuff. That little 2%. Just in the likes. Not even in the views. Strangely. <clears throat> because the titles are usually self-explanatory. Or, or very explanatory. Therefore you, should, you would think that people wouldn't even watch them. No, but they're watching them. And they're watching them all the way through. And then say, I don't like that. <clears throat> they won't prepare... A, um, a tuna. Well, they, they don't, a can of tuna. They don't want to hear the really bad stuff, particularly about ESCOM and the consequences of the collapse of ESCOM. Bear in mind, guys, we're in stage eight. Okay, today's been a good day. Today being Tuesday, the 17th of January. The time now being, I suppose, about 7 o'clock p.m. Going on for it. <coughs> We're in stage eight. Twelve hours a day. You can look this up on the internet. I've proven it to all of the people on my WhatsApp groups, the foreigners, the Borger, the people who paid for my big European tour, and Mr. Miller and his gang. And then the third WhatsApp uh, is for all St. London's senior leaders. <clears throat> so there, there are hundreds of witnesses to this. I've proven it repeatedly. By ESCOM's formula. When there is 12 hours of load shedding a day. It means. Stage 8. So we're not going into stage 8. We may go into stage 10. When they say to us we're in stage 6. And we're worried about stage 8. What they mean is. You're in stage 8. We're just too dishonest by nature. To tell you that. So let's call it stage 6, but we think stage 8 is coming, meaning stage 10. Now imagine if we go to 14 hours a day. Listen to this. Netwerk 24. Elsa Eckhart van Pretoria wou haar dierbare moeder soos die queen begrawe. Maar toe reik haar maase lyk so sleg Sy sien, jy sien net brommers in die kerk. I'm sure the English speakers can all follow what I'm saying. Although I know that I didn't know the word brommer. It's a fly. Of a certain type, but a fly. Dit was volgens Eckhart, omdat Erfbob in Delareyville in Noordwest nie diesel gehad het vir een opwekker om hul ei ijskaste gedurende beurtkracht koud te hou nie. And there's a, so this, that's the, the chillers in the mortuary. They didn't have diesel for the generators to run the chillers when the electricity was off, obviously. And then there's a photograph of Elsa Eckhart. And then there's um, a subtitle to the photograph. Brommers by begrafnis. Na lijks huis sonder diesel sit. There is a concept in law and philosophy and philology. The study of words and letters and sentences and meanings. And, and um, hermeneutics. Gaining knowledge out of writings. Um, particularly biblical, a concept. Uh, sorry, I'm closing and opening tabs here and I can't for the life of me keep track of what I'm doing. Why is that one? Hmm, I don't know what I did wrong. There is a concept known as Amenori Admaios. 
a minore ad maius. It means, and there's a reciprocal concept called uh, a a maiori ad minus. The first one, a minore ad maius. That means from the small, the big. Or rather, that's the literal translation. The meaning is that sometimes you can illustrate a big concept with a much smaller illustration or example. And this is that realized, made manifest. This story of Elsa Eckhart's mom frotting for days in Evbob de la Reval Lakes House mortuary. Frotting so that when the when the when the coffin was closed, it was still that bad that the flies filled the church. That illustrates this thing that apparently two percent of viewers don't want to hear about, they do not like, they dislike it. They don't want to know that we're actually in stage eight. They don't want to know that when this all comes tumbling down, we are going to wail and gnash teeth. <clears throat> All of us, including Marguerite, she said as much this morning because I gave her a little lecture saying to her, look, the way I see it is most people, people close to me, people, many people don't understand what this means in practice. I do better than anybody, not because I'm special, but because I have made it my mission I have fanatically devoted myself to learning about the miseries and the, hor the horrors of war, depredation, and deprivation. The privations of war. And related. And I said, Marguerite, people don't know X, Y, and Z. Anyway, she replied, I thought she might give me a bit of a hard time. <laughs> and she didn't. She said, you are exactly right. And she said, it's because of that, what you're saying now, that people think they know what they're walking into, but they don't. That I've made X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C preparations. To take advantage of that, to exploit that, but not not in a in a bad way. In the way that people plead for that opportunity. Let's say this is not the case, but let's say she had stored up ten thousand kgs of rice, and she had determined that she would pay anybody who worked a twelve-hour day for her, helping her to look after her umpteen children a, 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 a copy of rice a day 250 grams of rice a day those people are going to want that they're going to say thank you thank you ma'am at the end of every day they're going to be pathetically grateful so it's not that Marguerite is being nasty but she's seeing where the limter is she's seeing where the problem lies she's seeing this phenomenon of and I'm not asking you to press the like that's besides the point it's just this idea that all the videos get this phenomenally high, unheard of approvals, thumbs up. And then videos with specific topics get 2% lower, which is miles higher as a percentage than you name it.
but still that discernible 2%. Call it 3 if you like. It's not, but yeah. Uh-uh. <coughs> don't want to know. A small, tiny proportion is still running away from accepting that truth. Always the same videos. It's not videos in which I was tired. It's not videos in which my shirt was crumpled. It's not videos. It's always the videos that explain how it's going to be in the time that lies ahead. 2% of people say, thumbs down. Anyway, guys, it's been long enough. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. We look very much forward to doing many more videos, not for you, with you. I explained this in another video earlier today. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not just me. I'm sure it's not just me. But when I make these videos, I feel as if um, the person is right in the camera. Maybe just a few feet beyond. I have a, an, an empathy for the people to whom I'm talking that is so strong that it feels as if I'm collaborating with them, as if we were in a hall to, to do these videos. So with, not for. Thank you very much. Good. Bye and God bless you.